If you think you are seeing more four-legged flyers, that's because it's easier than ever for them to ride in the cabin. CBS News travel editor Peter Greenberg only has two legs, and he shows us how some passengers take advantage of a law meant to protect the disabled. Peter, good morning. Well, good morning, Nora. In fact, those animals are also flying for free. It's because something called the Air Carrier Access Act, which states that no carrier may discriminate against individuals demonstrating a physical or mental impairment to board with animals. As a result, a popular new class of pets has emerged. They're called the emotional support animal. Don't let the vest fool you. This is not an emotional support animal on official business, but CBS News staffer Swainson Gill's family pet, Pharaoh, and they're both volunteers to demonstrate how easily pets can travel for free under the Airline Carrier Access Act. I have not met a flight attendant who has not had some experience with a pet in the cabin. Laura Gladding is the national president of the Association of Professional Flight Attendants. I don't really want to, uh, you know, brush with a broad brush everyone who has an emotional support animal. They can be very, very helpful, and I have a dog myself. Emotional support animals are often mistaken for service animals. Laser, forward. Good boy. Which are trained in specific That's tasks to assist people with disabilities. In a very real sense, my safety, my, my life, is in the paws of my dog. People like Moving Jim Kutch, the president and CEO of the nation's first service dog organization, 65. The Seeing Eye. Right, right, Vegas. Good boy. The best service animal is the one that isn't noticed, the dog that's very quietly behind the scenes doing its job to mitigate the disability of the human half of the partnership. The support animal just has to show up. Basically, yes. And they're not just showing up with celebrities. Anyone claiming an emotional need with access to the internet and a one-time fee of about $150 can apply for certification. That's about the same amount passengers pay to travel each way with pets not considered an emotional support. So I think a lot has to do with not having to pay, uh, a way to bring your pet along, and uh, it's, it's really gotten out of hand. Swainson logged on to one of the many sites offering counseling services. His reported disability? A fear of flying, one of the many reasons given and difficult to challenge. The questionnaire was complete in less than five minutes. Two weeks later, a letter confirming his dog as an emotional support animal arrived. This vest is for you. Along with that official looking vest. Within days, Swainson and Farrell were on their way from New York to Washington to take in the sights. The park is beautiful. You got the World War II Museum here. You got all the monuments. And it's amazing how easy it was. It's not really whether they're a service animal, whether they're an emotional support animal, or whether they're a pet. It's dogs that are themselves stressed, that are out of their comfort zone, that are misbehaving. That's where the problems come up. While Pharaoh's behavior would earn him his wings, not every pet or passenger is as comfortable at 30,000 feet. You're getting reports from flight attendants all the time saying it's getting a little out of control. We had 50 documented reports where there was a return to the gate, or somebody was bitten, or if there was non-compliance. Currently, there are no rules at the Department of Transportation as to what constitutes an emotional support animal. There's not even a rule on how many animals a person can bring on any one flight. So if you want to know when pigs fly, how about right now? Come on, babies. We found our pig at Ross Mill Farm in Pennsylvania and paid a fee to take this four-month-old potbelly named Valley on his adventure with Swainson. I also have a pet pig with me. Who followed up with a counseling center in Colorado to obtain a letter prescribing the pig as the primary treatment for his psychological disability. Pigs are becoming a very popular pet again, and people find that they get tremendous emotional support from their pig. Valley the pig was treated like a celebrity at this Charlotte terminal. I want to buy a farm and get all piggies. And aside from acting a little like a pig during meal service, he flew without incident. Not only was it easy to get our pig on a flight, you have to give him back now. This newfound popularity made it difficult to leave. Hey everyone, they have the cleaning kit of the aircraft. This is going to oh. Manchester, England. So they're just waiting for everyone to deploy. <laughs> Now, now, our pig was actually a clean and respectable passenger, but I have to tell you guys, it doesn't always work out that way. In fact, if you have a misbehaving animal on the ground, a lot of them have been removed. In the air, however, all bets are off, and the words clean up on aisle five take on a whole new yes. meaning. Oh, my goodness. You think they'll be changing these rules the, soon? I certainly hope so. Yeah. Yeah. The moral to this story is take a popular pig. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That but was your job. I, I don't know about you guys, but I have a lot of emotional needs. I do too. Markley. Oh, we're the best. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
It's easy to get though, right? Yes, very easy to get. Yeah.